And it's turned into a hot July night at the Blue Horizon. Next up, a couple of featherweights and a heavyweight, Ed Derry. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for four rounds, and it's in a featherweight division. Referee is Rudy Battle. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at an even 128 pounds. He has one win and one loss. A native of Biomon, Puerto Rico, and now residing in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Luis Alinio Melendez. Melendez. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at an even 127 pounds. He has one win, no losses, and one draw. A native of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And now residing in Jersey City, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Arturo Thunder Gatti. Gatti. And you may see a familiar person in the corner of Arturo Gatti leading him into the middle of the ring, none other than Panama Lewis, who has received a license here in Pennsylvania and is uh, back in the corner since that fateful night, July 16th, 1983, when he was in the corner of Louis Resto, who destroyed Billy Collins that night. And from that happenstance, Panama Lewis was in prison for two years. Criminal charges resulting from the illegal tampering with boxing gloves, taking the padding out of Resto's gloves. And we'll talk a little more about Panama Lewis. Now into this run and gun. Boom! He is down in the first round. And it is over. Luis Melendez goes one-on-one. -on -one against Arturo Gatti and Gatti with his second knockout in two fights and the first round knockouts continue at the Blue Horizon there must be a full moon tonight smashing right hand from Arturo Gatti power in that right hand he's only had one fight now two both of them KOs a fast starter likes to get done fast Solomon, the veteran cut man in the ring, and Melendez is still down, though he uh, is talking now to the doctor, or at least listening. A lot of times what they try to do with fighters who get knocked down, their cornermen come in and they try to get them up right away. Boy, if they get up and they're still hurt, they're going right back down again. Doctor is in there looking over Melendez now. feeling to be looking at the lights. But a good feeling for Arturo Gatti. Now he's talking, responding to questions. Right there they're asking him what town he's in, what's your name, simple questions like that. But sometimes when you get knocked out like that you forget. is letting Melendez stay down. He wants to get up, but they say, no, not yet. When you're down like that, you don't realize, you think you're, you're healed and you think you're ready to go. You get up, you go right back down again. Wobbly legs. Leave him down there until you're good and sure that he's ready to get up. Take your time. When you get up, your head is dizzy. What will follow Panama Lewis around the rest of his career are people who will now ask questions of, let's check those gloves of Arturo Gatti in this fight that ended in seconds. It was the quick hands of Arturo Gatti that stopped this fight early in the first round. Gatti getting started quickly. Now, look how Melendez is coming in at him. Gotti just simply booms that right hand. Melinda's leaving himself open. The left hand is low. 
leans over, puts a shoulder into it. Down goes Arturo Gotti. Another angle. Watch the left hand dragging from Gotti, and boom, he runs in. His head runs in to the overhand right. And Luis Melendez now sitting up, and he will hear how quickly this fight ended. We'll find out now from Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of this bout, 19 seconds of the first round, and a winner by a knockout, Arturo Thunder Gatti. Gatti. Well, that has officially broken the Blue Horizon record of uh, Jorge Meissonet's 22nd knockout over Buttons Kearney. 19 seconds into the first round. Arturo Gatti being uh, draped uh, by Panama Lewis. Lewis, as we had mentioned before, back in a corner, licensed by Pennsylvania. He has been banned from the ring by uh, the state of New York and uh, states around the country honoring that. Quite frankly, uh, Sean, uh, I think it's a travesty that he is uh, working here tonight until he is cleared of the charges, the criminal charges. Uh, even though he has served his time, he should not be allowed in a corner. Well, I don't think it's right. He's not, in my opinion, a friend of boxing. He still contends that he did not take the, the padding out of the gloves of Resto, but and he's some, now appealing that, not appealing that case, but he had uh, been found guilty of tampering with boxing gloves and also aggravated assault in that fight. Of course, Louis Resto, the winner, in which he destroyed Billy Con Collins, who was pounded. Uh, it looked like he was beaten with bricks, suffered the eye damage, and Collins, nine months later, was killed in an automobile accident. Some felt uh, that it was a suicide, uh, linking it to his despondency over his career being finished from that fight. But here is Panama Lewis uh, back in the ring. Well, Billy Collins was such a proud fighter and proud of his career. When he lost the fight to Resto, it blew his mind. And uh, many feel like he committed suicide because of that loss. And Lewis still did.